Hey folks, it's Wayne Polson here. Today is T minus 31 days and counting. I think that's correct. I think so. That big reveal is just around the corner, April 2nd. Hang in there, hang on, stick with me, okay? Appreciate that. Hey, today, like I promised yesterday, I am gonna talk about the compact bulldog bone. That is this little device right here. This is gonna be fixed tonight. I'm gonna take care of that. Otherwise, this whole thing is totally functional. It's been functional for a couple of years. I love this device. Let me tell you more about it. Folks, this is the compact bulldog bone. This device was invented and manufactured by a man named Gordon Zvedberg from Waxhaw, North Carolina. I don't know Gordon very well. I've spoken with him by email. Um, he seems like a very intelligent man. He has a few videos out on YouTube. He loves to play guitar. He's a man after my own heart right there. Um, he also, I believe, is a surveyor. I think he has another nickname. I think he's called the surveyor. But this is a very unique contribution to the um, arborist community or, you know, tree worker community. This is a rope ascent device, and it's made for stationary rope technique. That is a rope that is stationary in the tree. The rope does not, uh, does not move. Um, there's no mechanical advantage. This ascension tool is also called a progress capture. It will capture your progress as you move up the rope. But it's also a descender. It will allow you to descend back down the rope when you're ready to return to the ground. This device weighs in at about 15 ounces, maybe 15 and 3 eighths ounces. That's with this uh, non-standard Rock Exotica Nano Swivel. This is something Gordon recommended putting on this device. Uh, this helps to manage um, the, the device when it's underweight. And when I'm moving my body underneath it, the device will stay stationary. It's really meant to be used with a carabiner like that. And then uh, this carabiner would be attached to my climbing harness. Okay. One of the really unique things about this is that there are no parts that have to be removed or added to this when you're adding it or uh, when you're attaching it to your rope or removing it from your rope. It's self-contained. Nothing is removable on this, nor does, does anything need to be removed. So it's very easy to install on a rope. You can install it midline, anywhere along the rope. You don't have to thread your rope through the center of it. It's very unique. The way that you do it is you open up these little chain links, and you can see these chain links here. Very cool. There's one on the bottom and one on the top. And then you take your rope, and you bring it through this bottom pin and around it so that it's threaded like that. You close this link, lock it in place, and then you do the same thing for the upper pin. Whoops. Lock that in place. So at this point, it is considered installed midline, and it's already uh, capturing the progress, as you can see here. And the way it would work is as I'm climbing the tree, this upper lanyard is attached to a chest harness or a lanyard that I might have around my neck. And as I go up the tree, this device pulls up with me. When I sit down in my harness, these arms spread apart and locks me at that position, captures my progress right there. As I continue to climb, it compresses and allows me to go up when I weight it, it holds me in position. Progress capture devices aren't really anything new to the world of climbing, but progress capture devices that allow you to descend are fairly new. This one adds the ability to descend by grabbing this upper arm and pulling it down. That releases the pressure on the rope and your body weight will start 
taking you down the rope. The rate of descension is directly proportional to how much pressure you apply to this upper arm. Okay, so let me just show you some other things about this. As far as maintenance goes, it's very easy to maintain. There is in this upper, in this upper arm, there's a brass bollard. This brass bollard, I think is three quarters of an inch in diameter and it's adjustable. And you can see that by adjusting this screw, you can move this brass bollard in or out or up or down. And that determines the amount of spacing or gap you have uh, right in here where the rope uh, exits. So you can adjust this bollard for where you can also adjust it for different diameter ropes. I believe this rope right here is a 12 millimeter diameter. So this part can be purchased as a replacement part so that uh, uh, you can get a lot of extended life out of this device. Um, other parts that wear are the spine itself. This is the spine, this piece back here. And this friction point right in here where the rope exits the bottom, this will tend to wear, as you can see, right in here. Now that's minor wear, that's just adjusting to the rope so far. I've replaced this spine once. This is a fairly new spine. But this spine is replaceable. The brass bollard is replaceable. And Gordon also recommends at any time you replace any parts on this device that you replace the cotters with stainless steel, brand new stainless steel cotter pins, you know, just to uh, avoid stressing them from excessive bending. So folks, I think that's all I have to tell you on this device. This is the compact Bulldog Bone. It's been a great companion of mine for the last couple of years. I like it. Well, folks, there you have it. Another video, T minus 31 days and counting. We're done for the night. I'm not going to ramble. I'm not going to babble. I'm not going to do whatever I normally do and take up a lot of time at the end of these videos. That's it. I'm done talking right now. That's it. I'm going to stop. I mean it. So there you go. Folks, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, hit the bell so that you can get notifications and all of that jazz. But more than anything else, folks, please leave your comments. I covet your comments. Love to see you in the comment section. I'll see you there after this video. Be kind to one another. Spread the love.